The Miami Marlins are baseball's enigma. They have never won a division title in their 27 year history and have only made the playoffs three times. Amazingly, the first two times they did, they ended up winning the World Series, while the third time was last year's COVID shortened season. They only have one number retired and it's the number all 30 teams have retired in honor of Jackie Robinson. Anything good the Marlins have is traded, released, or gone before it even had a chance to get going. Their uniforms are no different. Since the change from Florida to Miami, the Marlins have not been able to figure out their look. Their first attempt was decent, with great colors but bad logos. Their most recent attempt is closer, but they are still holding themselves back in my opinion. Both of these iterations suffer the same problem. Which color is the primary color? For the first set, was the focal color orange or blue? What about the current one, is it blue or red? I'll tell you, it's black. The Marlins keep dominating their uniforms with black. This was fine with the teal and black color scheme because there wasn't a secondary color to go with the teal. But when your color scheme features two very vibrant colors, why are your jerseys mainly black? They very rarely even wore the colorful alternates that were better, and more often than not, they wore their black top, which is usually the worst option of them all. Their current one is basically the old Mets jersey. So I'm going to fix the Marlins threads. Now this is how I think the Marlins should look, and I'll leave a few options open-ended for you guys to discuss down in the comments. Let me know what you think they should do and what you think of my ideas for them. Remember, this isn't real. These jerseys aren't going to be real jerseys. Don't take my thoughts or ideas too seriously. We're just having fun. All right, so we're over in Photoshop and I'm actually going to be displaying my designs on my own personal mock-up uh, from my store templatefc.com where you can buy sports mock-ups for Photoshop and create your own designs. If you're interested, be sure to check that out. But first up, we have the home jersey. And you'll notice the color scheme I went for is the classic Marlins color scheme with the teal and black because it's my favorite. I really love the teal and since they want to use black so much, I figured you might as well make it the secondary color. Um, for me, you could make it the primary color, but I'm going to use more of the teal. And we're using their current logos and branding because I think that stuff looks good. Just the color scheme currently isn't the best. So for the home uniform, I went with the pinstripes and thicker accent striping on the um, collar and sleeves, as well as the pants stripes. You could go without the pinstripes though. You can see if I turn them off here, the solid uniform looks good as well. Personally, I'm a man of pinstripes, so I'd prefer the pinstripes, but this is the option I was talking about where I was gonna leave it a little open-ended for you guys to tell me which one you like better. I'm rocking pinstripes, but let me know what you guys think. I also went with the primarily teal hat with the black brim, because I really love the teal color. I'd want it to be the hat. Now the current Marlins jerseys have black text everywhere, even on the black jersey. So for mine, I went with the teal text rather than the black. Moving on to the road uniform, we have thinner striping throughout this one. It's not as thick as the home, but that's because we have these chest stripes or chest trim going on. And this is relatively similar to the home then, same hat, um, the teal text as well and then just like your standard gray baseball uniform. But you'll notice I still am going with the black undershirt and black socks because black is still a dominant color, but I think you can use that teal to make things pop a little more, but you don't have to go over the top with the teal. Going on to our first iteration of an alternate, and you'll notice we go for a little bit of a surprise with some pink, because I think if the Marlins were to bring in a second color, pink would be the way to go because it's very Miami. It would fit the teal very nicely as well, so it's such a great combo, and pairing it with the black is just so nice. You would have seen the Miami Heat jerseys that have been crazily popular over the last few years using the Miami Vice colors, if you will. So that was the thinking here, um, as well as on some of the other alternates that we'll get to, but the overall setup for this one is a throwback to their 97 year, um, when they won the World Series for the first time. So you'll notice the black sleeves and the classic pinstripes. Also, I went with the alternate logo here without the M, just the fish, because I think that looks really good on the chest by itself. And then the numbers off to the right. And you can see the pink is incorporated in the striping just a little bit, um, as well as the logo and, uh, on the hat and the chest and incorporated in the socks. So the pink here is a little subtler. It doesn't stand out too much, but it's a nice like little accent, I think. Now moving on to the first black jersey, because there's actually two black and two teal alternates here. We have the home black, which features the teal on black with um, pink acting as the stroke or accent color. Um, but the pink is more heavily featured in this one. And then this would be the home with the home pants. But there's also the road black version, which features the pink text on black. And I really like both of them. I wasn't sure whether to go with just one black and I decided to go with two blacks. So we have two different black jerseys and this is another like open-ended one uh, which one would you guys like better which one do you think is best the pink text or the teal text personally I couldn't decide that's why both of them are here 
Then moving on to the first teal jersey, uh, we have the home teal, which by the way, the teal jersey is so nice. I see so many people wearing the throwback teal Marlins jersey. And I think a lot of people thought it was a little like taboo at the time, like it was a little too much. Uh, but people also didn't like the old Padres color scheme and they brought that back and people loved it. So I think the Marlins should do the same, bring back the teal and people will go crazy for this jersey. I think this jersey would sell like nobody's business. Now the home version features the white text and white hat logo uh, with black acting as the accent color obviously and then the road teal features black text and black logo. So um, again these have two different vibes, two different feelings um, and I actually feel like you could get away with having two different versions of this jersey um, and maybe one version of the black but I liked all of these so I included them all in my uh, MLB redesign and this video as well. So let me know what you guys think of these jerseys Which one would you keep um, if you had to choose one teal and one of the black here are the jerseys all together Let me know which one is your favorite. Also, let me know what team I should fix next I did the Rams in episode one So be sure to check that out if you haven't seen it already be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more uh, I have the MLB redesign video coming soon. The first part is going to be the National League, which will include these Marlin sets. And we have more Jersey redesign projects coming soon. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace.